Hey y'all, it's Sierra and I'm back with another reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this reading is about the milestones and changes that are going to be happening for you all in 2021. So what are some of the changes that could be happening? Are some of the things that you've been working on in 2020 going to come into fruition in 2021? I know a lot of people are nervous about 2021 and some people are just ready for it to get here because we don't really know what it might hold for us since 2020 was such a hectic year for some people. I will say 2020, a lot of great things happened for me in 2020, so I don't have a whole lot to complain about. Um, I make sure that I put the energy out there that anything that could be... A negative towards me um, anything that can cause problems for me is also something that can be used to create opportunities opening or openings or work in my favor so a lot of the things that worked against some people in 2020 worked in my favor so that's just some tips on some of the things that I manifest um, some of the affirmations that I say so let's go ahead and get started um, we're starting with the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Cups. So this is showing me that some of you have spent time in 2020 and the years prior to that possibly going on a journey of self-reflection, self-analysis, taking the time to heal from certain things, taking the time to figure out why certain things occurred, how to keep them from happening again, and how to bring in more positive energy in your life. So for those of you who have done that, you're going to see more stability in your life in 2021. And also your intuition is going to be heightened. You're going to start um, receiving more and more information that's going to help you bring in more positive things and energy into your life with this high priestess card and the emperor card so a lot of you have taken the time to work on your intuition you've taken the time to figure out who you are to the core and do some deep healing that was needed for those of you who have not done that that is something that you need to be working on in 2021 and then you will start seeing some of the positive things that are going to be happening for those who have already started working on that so if you know that you've been working on that then this portion of the reading is going to apply to you when i'm talking about the things that you've already worked on working in your favor if you know you haven't been working on that or maybe you just started your spiritual journey just keep on working on yourself doing your self analysis if you need to walk away from certain people circumstances situations take the time to do that sometimes we need to go into hermit mode and spend some time alone with ourselves don't be discouraged because as you can see for the people who have been working on this Good things are going to be happening for them. We have the Nine of Cups. This is a card of fulfillment. It is referred to as the Wish card. Having the things that you want and need. Some of you have taken the time to figure out exactly what it is that you want and need. You know what is going to make you happy. You've taken the time to really get down to the core of what is going to make you happy and it's not just surface level things so now you're able to manifest from a position of knowing exactly what it is that you want and what's going to make you happy and it's not just superficial things that once you get it you realize you're still not happy so you know what it takes to make yourself fulfilled what is going to fulfill you some of you are not sure what that is yet so for those of you who have taken the time to get down to the bottom of it and know what really makes you happy you are going to be manifesting that so we have the ten of cups here this is a card of happiness this is a card of celebration it's a card of emotional fulfillment happy families happy relationships okay so for some of you because you already know what you want you're going to see that manifesting Others of you need to take the time to figure out what you want and why you want it and then once you figure out what you want and why you want it you can figure out is it something that i really even want is it something that society told me i wanted is it something that my parents wanted for myself is it something that i want just to 
show other people but it's not necessarily going to make me happy that way you can start manifesting from a place in your subconscious mind not just your conscious mind and you're going to start being in alignment with the things that you actually really want and you're going to see that it's easier for you to get the things that you want okay so we also have relationship dynamics hobbies friendship peace and imperfect harmony so some of you have taken the time to walk away from relationships that don't serve you well you have taken the time to let go of people that disturb your peace interrupt your peace <laughs> make it harder for you to manifest and do the things that you want to do for yourself because they just bring so much drama and chaos or it's just maybe not you know a situation where you all work well together anymore this could be a work situation family uh friendship romantic situation sometimes people just outgrow each other and you will find that happening when you do take the time to go on a self journey where you're analyzing yourself in introspection and again some of you need to take the time to do this so you might see some relationships that are seem to have disruption in them but that's because that situation no longer brings you peace and you need to let it go. Some of you, you've already cut those people off. So you're going to see this imperfect harmony. Now you're going to be able to bring in, manifest, uh, be in alignment with and attract the people that are in perfect harmony with you. Your soul tribe, the people that are going to help you fulfill your destiny. Um, and then with this hobbies card, some of you may be turning your hobbies into money making opportunities or streams of income and some of you are going to need to turn to your hobbies so that way it's easier for you to break away from people who no longer serve your greatest and highest good so it gives you something to do and that will help you to learn more about yourself it will help you to think go into introspection when you have a project or something you're working on a lot of the times <laughs> For some people, meditation being still doing nothing helps their juices to start to flow and helps with introspection. For some people, working on a project, taking the time to just focus on one thing helps them to think. So some of you might need to do that. And then that's going to help you if you do have to walk away from certain circumstances and people. And for some of you, it's going to help build another stream of income. Okay, so we also have a merry motive and for me this is the the why card this is finding your why card this is knowing why you want what you want why you do what you do why certain things have happened to you why certain things are not happening for you and once you know why once you know your purpose once you are clear on that you can become clearer on your goals and you can really sit down and figure out how to implement your goals. You can really sit down and plan it out because you're clear on why you want to do something and you understand this is what's going to create this fulfillment for me. This is what's going to create happiness for me. I'm doing this for me and nobody else. If you don't know your why, you need to figure it out because sometimes things are not working out for people because you're not doing it for the right reasons. You're not trying to manifest something or make something happen for the right reasons and it's not in alignment with what your life purpose is. So it's not working for that reason. Okay, so we also have the journey card. So again, this is going along with this eight of cups. Some of you need to find yourselves and that's what you will be working on in 2021 and as long as you're working on it you're going to see that it's starting to come together for you we have the heartbreak card or the broken heart card so again for some of you you're having to leave a situation you're going to want to walk away from a situation you're realizing a person job career um, relationship is not working out for your greatest and highest good anymore so you're gonna have to walk away from it but once you do decide to do that you're, you're gonna find fulfillment and happiness so you kind of have to think about the outcome even though it's kind of hard while you're in the moment you feel the sadness you feel the pain you feel the hurt but understand in perfect harmony happiness fulfillment is going to happen um, stability your ability to receive 
more and more intuitive information that's going to help you to make your decisions easier is going to happen but you just have to go through a little bit of heartache sometimes but again be encouraged by the people who have already done this process because they are seeing this fulfillment happiness and peace and harmony in 2021 so we have unexpected income and again this can come from that hobbies card something you just do for fun might end up being something to help make money for you and you can get unexpected income from various different ways we're just happy to see that card and we're just going to accept that okay in whatever way it comes as long as it's not harmful to ourselves or others and then we have occupation Again, some of you might be walking away from a job. Some of you might be turning your hobbies into an occupation. Some of you might just now be figuring out, I don't think the job that I'm doing is my career. This is a job. I'm making money from it. But my career is going to allow me to make money and provide for myself. But it's going to allow me to contribute to the world in a way that I feel is helpful. And it's going to be using my abilities that I have to serve the world for the greatest and highest good. So some of you just might not be happy with your job and your career right now because it's not fulfilling to you. It's something that you might make money from and you might make great money from it, but it's not fulfilling to you. So some of you are leaving jobs in 2021. Some of you are starting to think about it. Some of you have started implementing plans to leave your job. You don't have to just quit your job right today just because you realize it's not for you because I feel like that message is given a lot on these readings, but you have to be responsible too. So it is possible to still work your job and still work on your dream. For some people, their jobs are creating income for their dreams. Their jobs are funding their dreams. I'm one of those people. I use money from my job to fund the businesses that I have on the side. So I'm not going to tell you to just walk away from your job and quit right now and make you feel bad because you don't feel comfortable doing that. Be responsible and do what you feel comfortable doing as long as you are making steps towards your goals and your dreams. Okay. You're working your job, but you're also working for yourself, putting in just as much time, effort, money, hours of the day, hours of the night. Sometimes you might have to work your regular job, get off work, and then work your other job for where you're working for yourself. However you feel is best to do it. And then we also have reflection. So it says, and this is, you know, just a little love message. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith. That all will work out for the best. So for some of you, you might not um, have the strongest bond in your relationships, your, re your romantic relationships right now. You might be broken up or you might break up with the person you're with. And that's possibly because you just need space. Again, a lot of you are needing the self-reflection. We have Eight of Cups, Journey, and Reflection. That's three cards that are saying you need to be by yourself taking the time to think things through think about things that have happened in your life why they've happened why your relationships are the way that they are because you might realize that what you think you really want right now is not even what you really want so that's pretty much what i have for you all some of you have done this self-reflection work and you are going to see increase in stability increase in fulfillment happiness um, your relationships all across the board, family, career, friends are going to be a lot better, a lot peaceful, a lot more harmonious. You're going to see increases in your income. And for some of you, you are just now getting started on this self-reflection journey or you need to. This is your message right now to get started on it. And then you will see some of the stuff that's happening for the other people that have already started on their self-reflection journey. Okay, so I don't think that's bad at all um please let me know if it resonated with you by leaving a comment in the comment section also please like share and subscribe if you feel called to do so you can also check out the readings for your other signs remember we have sun moon and rising and thank you for taking the time to watch this i hope y'all have a good rest of your day bye